At the age of only 39, Barker's battle with cancer ended this morning when he died peacefully in his sleep. He'll be remembered with a minute's silence before Sunday's match against Footscray at Waverley. Peter Donegan has this tribute to one of the game's most admired players. In a game where parochial passions are its lifeblood, Trevor Barker was an uncanny exception to the norm. Because it didn't matter who you barracked for, you just couldn't help but admire his athleticism, his fairness and his courage. It was a courage at which many marvelled during his recent battle with cancer, a courage that he displayed right up until he left us at 8 o'clock this morning. It's very hard to comprehend why a person so talented, a person blessed with so much personality is taken from us. But although he's only on this earth for a short period of time, he left us with very fond memories because of his great talents and because of his wonderful personality. We were privileged to have known him and we record our appreciation for the many sacrifices that he made for this club. He just endeared himself because nothing was ever too much trouble for him. He'd go out of his way to help anyone and everyone. If there's one thing that probably that we're all a bit sad about is the fact that he didn't get the chance to, to coach his beloved St Kilda. Bit of a shock even though we knew Trevor was uh, seriously ill and you know it's just a, it's a great tragedy to see a guy cut down the prime of his life. It's devastating news for, for the club and for um, those who knew him personally and um, we only found out today so it's, I'm still quite shocked and um, haven't really had time for much to sink in yet. I can't pick a fault and he's been a great mate for a long time. Um, he's not here with us physically anymore. Um, I'll never forget him. He's given, we've had some great times together and I can't think of a bad thing. Everyone who knew Barks could still manage a smile as they remembered the amount he crammed into those 39 years. But today, all of his mates, and indeed many who never knew him, grieve at the loss of a young man who was taken far too soon. If they want to shed a tear, I reckon they should shed it for a great guy. Happy with today's announcement, especially tomorrow's debutante, David Weirpunda. It would have been a bit harsh, you know, if Mick signed me, got me to the Eagles, and then he ended up leaving me, so... <laughs> <laughs> Tim Gossage, 10 news. To my tips, the remainder of round five. Tonight, Fremantle will be too strong for Melbourne. Tomorrow, Carlton to defeat West Coast. Geelong will hold off Richmond. North Melbourne will end Adelaide's winning... This is National Nine News with Brian Naylor. Football loses another champion with the death of Trevor Barker. A man with a grudge charged with inserting needles into supermarket food and health fears as Karen Perkins struggles to reach Atlanta. Good evening. The football fraternity is expected to turn out in force next Tuesday for the funeral of former St Kilda star Trevor Barker. 39-year-old Barker lost his battle with cancer this morning and the Saints are set to honour the high-marking hero by naming the club's best and fairest award after him. Tony Jones with this tribute. Trevor Barker became a role model for thousands of youngsters. Hollywood looks and a ton of football talent. That talent, quite literally, put him head and shoulders above teammates and opponents alike. Barker died in hospital this morning, his 40th birthday still some five months away. His passing has stunned football in general, St Kilda in particular. But although he's only on this earth for a short period of time because of his great talents and because of his great personality, he's left us with some great memories. Recruited from Cheltenham, Barker played his first senior match in 1975. He went on to play 231. He won the club's best and fairest twice and represented his state on seven occasions. Yet he never experienced the adrenaline rush of a finals match. He went part of the way to remedying that by taking VFA club Sandringham to premierships in 92 and again in 94. Just walking onto that ground after the, after the game was one of the best feelings anyone could ever experience. Following those successes, Barker was lured back to Moorabbin in an assistant coaching role. I like to think of him the way he was not, not, not a couple of days ago. You know, a lot of people seem to think of the present, but I think the wonderful thing about uh, being a great mate with the guys is the memories you have with them. It was just a great player, a great competitor, and I think youngsters really grabbed hold of that. It had become evident in recent months that Barker was gravely ill. He'd had a growth removed from his stomach last year and although the cancer was spreading, was able to continue with his work at the club. At Moorabbin tonight, Stan Elv spoke privately to his players before taking to the track for what was understandably a flat training session. He helped me personally quite a lot, especially through hard times and um, you've got to miss someone like that. With the flag flying at half-mast, there was an outpouring of grief at the home of the Saints today, supporters trying to come to terms with their loss. 
That loss came soon before 8 o'clock this morning, shortly after Barker's family left his bedside. To the end, he displayed the courage which made him one of the game's greats. Tony Jones, National 9 News. The Melbourne Magistrates Court has heard an invalid pensioner contaminated... A very insidious food. disease. Barker. Trevor Barker, one of our game's best players and a terrific fellow. Tim Watson reporting. And Trevor's funeral will be held at Moorabbin Town Hall next Tuesday. Coles in Paran and the...